With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question here says which of the following are included in the ex situ conservation? When we talk about the conservation of biodiversity, it can be done by two approaches. One is the in situ, that means the animals are kept on the site, that means in their natural habitat and preserved there only. Whereas the other approach is the ex situ, which is also called as off site. In this approach, the animals are taken out from their natural habitat and then given special care by the humans so that they can be preserved. Right? So here we see that the in situ conservation, the first approach is the hotspot. So hotspots are those areas in which there is high species diversity as well as there is endemism. Endemism means that there is presence of a species which is not found anywhere else. So we have to preserve the hotspots which range up to 34 total number in the world. So this hotspot is associated with the in situ conservation and not the ex situ conservation, right? So this is the in situ type of conservation while we have a three hotspots which lie along the India. These hotspots which lie along the India are the Western Ghats and Sri Lanka, Indo-Burma and Himalaya. So these are the three which uh, hotspots which cover exceptionally high biodiversity regions. Now the next option here is the national parks. While we see that the national parks, biosphere reserves and sanctuaries. So national parks, total number of national parks in, are 90 in number. Whereas sanctuaries, there are a total number 448. 48 and these two are the approach for the in situ conservation because in national parks the animals are conserved there itself in their natural habitat whereas the fourth option that is wildlife safari parks this option is the right option for this question because this constitutes the ex situ conservation where the animals are taken out and then they are put in the safari parks for special care and then they are preserved or the prevention of extinction will be done. Now along with this we have certain other approaches for the ex situ conservation. This will be for the animals it is zoological parks whereas for the endangered plant species it will be botanical parks. Along with this the higher technologies such as tissue culture can also be used to preserve plants whereas cryopreservation is a technique to preserve animals as well as plants by preserving the gametes, seeds, pollen grains of these animals at very low temperature that is minus 196 degrees Celsius and later on it can be used for animal as well as plant breeding programs to pre preserve the endangered species. So here we see that the option number 4 is the only option in which there is ex situ conservation approach. So option 4 is the right answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.